we're uh, here today it is tuesday and which is going to be the tutorial tuesday uh, so i'll be uh, uh, starting up in a, a second there on painting eyes today so we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys how to paint eyes ranging from 32 mil to larger scale models right so from very easy to a larger scale yeah all right let's do a presentation uh, I need to do some clickety click so um, painting eyes before I uh, start the presentation I'm, I'm gonna tell you uh, what I would do when painting eyes um, there are people who say paint the eyes first and then do the skin around it or uh, or everything else around it and yes there is merit in that uh, you are less likely to mess up the skin you already did um, uh, but in some way I, I never do I always start off with skin and I think ah, I should have done the eyes first but I don't mess that much a bit but not too much so think about it think about what you like first would you like to paint the eyes first and then the rest around it and so there's something to say about it and obviously uh, today I'm gonna be painting the eyes first I'm never gonna paint the rest around it but there you go um, so I'm going to show you a step by step how I build up my eye uh, and if I'm going to go into a, a pretty much a detailed version of it but if you take away a lot of the details this then you could still see how you could translate this to 32, uh, 32 28 mil figures hello Ned yay bite the bullet chick in the house <laughs> there we go all right so um i'm going to be using this the Giraldes bust for the smaller eyes in a way that you can still see it and then this one for the bigger eyes so you can see the real of it all right you got your notepads ready guys let's go it's a it's a quick presentation so we can jump in quickly to painting okay all right here we go i hope right so this is blank screen that's easy um let's say where is it where is it come on it's not working why is it not oh there we are <laughs> let's say this is your eye obviously this is a simplified representation of an eye um i'm not gonna do that really I, I just did this in five minutes so um bear with me okay so let's say this is the eye socket in the head so my first step i always do is paint it black and seriously this might be the most important step of all because i see a lot of those beginners who do not paint it black and yeah on um, uh, larger uh, busts uh, with heads which are really bad big where you can see every detail in that eye you might do a near black but make it freaking dark right because the step next to it is going to paint the insides white again and that way you're going to leave a little dark rim around it the thinner you're going to make that the nicer it becomes but the smaller the model is going to be and the more you've got to show this uh, black line right now if you look closely you can see that the white is not as white as the white around it right so this is an off-white I always take an off-white and either it's gonna be something like a bleach bone or you take some brown and mix it in uh, or a bit of yellow or just take a color from your palette and just muck it up take it just off-white that's always nicer than pure white if you're gonna do pure white those eyes are gonna be <laughs> which is mostly wrong I guess right okay make it white again leave the black uh, line around it uh, if you do not if you uh, lose the black line the eye white is gonna blend in with the skin tones and then you got these eyes like these right everybody knows those <laughs> that's ugly even if you paint it neatly inside the socket if you do not make a dark line around it 
it's gonna blend especially from afar right yeah birch awesome color for the whites of the eyes awesome color so we painted up the whites uh, if your model is big enough something that you could do and i'm not showing this in the presentation uh, i hope you can see my yeah my my mouse over here is um, make those corners a bit darker even all right just slightly depends on how big or small that eye socket is you're gonna make those a bit darker you could even add a little bit of red in there right it's, it's exactly right there in the eye all right next step and i'm gonna paint in the uh, the eye itself the iris is i, I believe it's gold um, and what you see here is a nice centered kind of iris i usually uh, would like it a little bit more up uh, so that it's gonna come loose or nearly gonna come loose from down from the from the lower side from from here it's gonna come loose or nearly coming loose and it's much more flattened on top all right so this is and I'm gonna make this black all black so if you're at a small size miniature where uh, there's hardly any room it's all about spheres there you go uh, and welcome nerd um, if it if if your model is so small that that you're hardly unable to do any more detail in that eye than this then this is your end point you might even put a little white dot in there somewhere um, uh, which will be anywhere uh, but probably won't be on in the in the right spot but this is actually the end if you do this on a 32 28 mil and from afar you see a perfectly good eye the trick is getting both eyes uh, watching the same place obviously i've got a couple of tips for that later on okay let's say we've got a bigger face right we can do a bit more detail in this so if i'm once I've done the black circle, I'm gonna paint it white again. Exactly like the whole eye socket we did before. I'm gonna paint it white, leave a very thin hairline around it black. And this time I am using pure white. And the pure white is to make the color that I'm gonna be putting on top of this much brighter. I want a bright color because I want people to see those eyes right so this is why i'm using white so in this case uh, i've chosen like blue eyes you can choose any color of your eyes what you like and i'm gonna paint this white circle as a gem and if you know how to paint gems you know exactly what i mean uh, and you get something like this right i took a blue i'm making some very bright highlights underneath and i'm putting a very uh, large substance of black above and make sure that this black area is pretty big like this nearly half the uh, the circle um, and it's slightly slanted you can even curve it a bit right okay i know you think yeah 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 it's it's blue okay ish yeah um now i'm gonna put in the what's that called the pupil and that's a black dot again and uh, as you can see my black dot is um, crossing the black area here so part of that black dot is lost in this black area and that's exactly what I want I could even do this bigger just slightly bigger but uh, let's leave it at this and this is just pure black and I'm gonna leave it at that and then you think, yeah, now it's got an eye, it's okay -ish. But I want that eye to glisten, right? I want a glimmer in there. So I'm gonna put some white in there, let me see. And I do it like this. Uh, I could easily do it on the other side as well. That's not a problem, it doesn't matter. Um, but in this case, I've got pure white and I've got like an oval shaped. What I want is uh, have a it doesn't matter what shape it is you, i've also done trapeziums like with rounded edges right but what i want is to break um 
break the pupil a little bit so it's overlapping here I definitely want to break the dark shades up here uh, for those who want to know this this darkness is actually a shade created by your upper eyelid right and if possible I would even like to break the circle here and blend over into this white and this way this is going to create an entirely glistening eye if you want to go further even still you could do a little bit of uh, white lining in here just above not touching the the black line but just above the black line pure white in here just a line and uh, maybe even a little dot there or you can even create uh, multiple light dots in here like a bigger one and a smaller one above there to make it even more interesting and if you got the time and the space for it you could even create all these little lines from the iris uh, and if you can pull that off all right so far so good everybody on board any questions so far yep Dave says yep all right anybody else no you're good you're all good doesn't make sense the, was there anything new about it? I'm not doing that on the Challenge Mini. Um, no, that's um, maybe a little bit too small. Mm. All right, let's paint. Uh, so you guys, tell me, what, which one do I start off with? With the, um, the small eye or the big eyes? And now you're just taking notes. Yeah, she is tiny. Still can be done. I've done it. It's not fun. And um, to be honest, if you're, uh, I've seen people do all the details in an eye on a 32 mil figure. Um, but if you, if it wasn't said to you, if it, you weren't pointed out that it was done that way, you would know, never have noticed. Because you're going to be looking at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, good eyes and uh, skin. Oh, yeah, that's nice. There's even. Oh, and then you gotta pull it really close. Put on your goggles. So yeah. Okay, let's start off with the big one, uh, which is the more uh, exciting one, obviously. So I've got my palette set up here. I've got some black and some white. I've got a bit of brown to murk up the white, and I've got some blue for the eyes. All right. All right. Here we go. first step please tell me what was the first step anybody anybody class please three color iris on a 32 mil yeah uh, it, like I said it can be done but you've got to question yourself are you gonna see it there you go tofu thank you so much for being a, a kid in front of the class Blacken the whole eye completely. Now, I'll, uh, I think I need to zoom in a bit. One second. Click a lot of click, 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 clicks. Um, zoom. There we go. That's good enough, and it's in focus. Yeah, there we go. Obviously, on a big model like this. Uh, the, the purpose of blacking it completely is so that it's easier to make that black line because you're gonna fill white in uh, 
as I know that it will be leaving a black line around it, I don't, maybe I don't need to fill it completely. I can leave it like this, because this model is big enough for it. All right? So then I'm gonna create some murked up white. Just a bit of brown, that's a bit too much B. There we go. Hope you guys can see this. That's off white, maybe a bit too off. Can always make it dark, lighter. And I'm gonna fill it in. to uh, paint it in black because the paint I'm using is not covering completely. Pascal and Bionic Eye is going to be a foot away with my binocular magnifier. This is a big model, dude, so it's not even needing a binocular eye, a uh, bionic eye. But even if I need to, I've got some, uh, some of them goggles. Try to make that line as thin as possible. You can be a bit more forgiving on the top side, because you can always uh, pretend it to be like uh, the eyelashes. That'll do it nicely. Unless the eyelashes are sculpted on, obviously, which is in this case is in this model. See that little bit there underneath? That's where your tear ducts are. So you can definitely, if, if the model allows it, you can definitely add that as well. Just trying to get a more nice even coating here, guys. You saw already that I had this darker version of the mucked up color. And it's not dark dark, it's just a slightly darker. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm painting my hand blue here. <laughs> so I'll show you what I meant with uh, darkening those sides. Slightly bit of black in there. Get a bit more grayish color. Ok, 
just a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. And often you can already get away with that. So, got the eye wipe, now we're going to go for the iris. Now this is like a manga kind of eye, so it could be a lot bigger than usual. Um, and like I said, I want to make a round eye, which is much, the center is much more upwards than it is in the center of the white eye. And if you're doing two eyes at the same time, a simple trick to make them look the same way is just first do a little dot. This is where, where I'm looking at. And then, so you can do the same dot on the other side. And if you think, well, this is okay. Then you can fill in, make that the center of your dot. Right, of your uh, iris, pupil iris. I don't know, I always screw those up. And another neat trick for eyes though, if you're always screwing around with having them look to the same direction, it's just have her not look straight forward, but just slightly off, right? Just slightly off the center. And the thing is, is that uh, one of the two eyes, considering itself, will be much more towards that side than the other. So if you're looking like this, this eye is going to be like here. That one is going to be filling this part up completely. There will be no white on this side, while there is white on this side. You see, that's a lot easier and more forgiving. You can get away with a lot more of that that way. Anyway, I'm going to make a uh, rough circle. This is the center. I always start too small, so I can always go bigger. You can already see that it's roughly touching a lot of it on the top, but there's still a white line underneath. And either I'm gonna leave the white line underneath I'm gonna just barely touch it. In this case, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Big eye, nice and nice. Uh, so next step, make sure that it's dry. There we go. I'm gonna take pure white. Now this is a new white I'm testing out, so I don't know uh, how well it's gonna take, but. See. And paint it in. And often I will see that it's a circle with a top flattened. Like that. But the top part isn't isn't important. As long as you put the lower part nicely in. Because the top part is gonna be darkened this again again. a little bit thinner I hope and this is also a trick to get um, uh, really fine lines if you're doing like a, a free end or such uh, don't try to paint the fine line you'll always be making them thicker and thinner and uh, wobbly and whatnot just paint them thicker and paint away what you don't need easy all right we're gonna come in with some color now 
I'm going to take some blue. This is my basic blue, uh, my uh, mid-tone blue, my standard. Make sure it's dry. Create some uh, highlight tones already. And the brighter you make this, the better you're gonna see them. Is if I'm gonna leave it this dark blue, it's still gonna look uh, really dark and hardly any blue from afar. Definitely end up with pure white, near pure white in the bottom there. If you do, make it small. Make it on the opposite side of where you want to have that big white glint happening. I'm on this side right now, so the glint is going to be happening over there. Alright, so these are the highlights. I'm going to do some darkening. Take into account a bit how the uh, uh, upper eyelid's going, so the eyelid's going like this. Guys are so quiet. It means I got a good listening class. And I'm always ending with black. But the best way to have that white dot later on uh, really stand out is having black near it. Alright. And now I'm gonna paint in the the pupil, the iris. Which one is it? Somebody, one, one of you guys, go, go find it for me. The color, is it the iris and the dot in the middle is a pupil or the other way around? You tell me. This is a teacher asking, all right? God damn it. So now I've got a, uh, like this is the center of my eye. And so often I would do uh, rather a standing lips. Iris is the colored. All right, cool. Um, yes, you've seen this mini around, uh, Augie. I've <laughs> already done this. Um, often I, I would do the uh, uh, like a standing up oval in this way. While it's actually round, but just like this. Uh, although I need some paint on my brush, or else it won't work. There, 
got an eye. If you would like to do those um, uh, iris, kind of the stripes in those irises, make sure you got a really fine tip, some good fluid paint from inside to out. I hope I can do it. Yeah. bit messy but there you go no no plaid <laughs> God damn it. so now the final thing is that big beautiful white dot and the bigger the eye the bigger the dot can get but don't make it too big so I could do it like this this is not bad either I personally like it if I break that. And I can do like a little that over there. There we go. And what you could add, like I said, is just a little white, pure white up here. Tire on the side. This almost will give it that glossy feel. All right. If you want to improve on this, or actually, especially on the larger models, um, take up some pure red, just slightly. Paint it all. Uh, thank you very much. Get the inside of that uh, tear duct. And under the eye, then the lid. You'll be able to see on it, especially uh, more realistic kind of um, busts, really have that eyelid sculpted in there. So you can definitely see it. Or if you're doing like old man eyes, you may want to emulate like uh, the blood vessels in there and there you got an eye any questions so in this case the model has um, her eyelashes sculpted on here so make them black just black uh, in this comic style, I would rather choose just wholly fill it in, but you can definitely do but if you're gonna do that, and I'm really not good at that, if you're gonna do it, then make sure to paint the skin first. I would rather do this. Roughly. I could even do... That way I'm already starting up uh, some uh, makeup stuff. Hello Mark, welcome, welcome. Didn't see you come in there. There we go. Oh, messed it up a bit. All right, any questions about this? Self, self explanatory I guess I'm gonna show you again on this bus and you can definitely see uh, he is a bit smaller but the sculpt is a bit nicer there um, so what I would do I'm gonna take the off white again it's already black and just go at it again the 
just show you again. Make it white. see that I am uh, painting the uh, lower eyelid as well on top of it it's just uh, by accident by by the way but it's easily remedied especially in this stage let's paint it back into black however at the end I would still like to paint it in reddish or pinkish tones so with still leaving a black line between the eyelid and the eye itself. What a lovely crap. Oh, what a lovely chap, sorry. <laughs> Misread it there. What a lovely crap. Very careful. Tear duct in as well. There. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. All right. Do you always start on the right eye? Uh, yeah. But, uh, everybody has got a favorable eye. For me, that's the right eye. If I'm going to go to the left, uh, it, I've got to, you know, change it. Uh, plus, here on uh, camera, I would be mostly covering it with my fingers. Um, this way it's easier uh, for people who are left probably the left side is easier she can just draw away from it stop out of focusing dude yeah all right in this case i would hardly recommend darkening those uh, sides up you will hardly see it you could do it but mm. Well, hardly see it, no, it's not noticeable. So I just jump over to black, painting the eye. This is the left eye, it's his left eye, it's the right for me. The eye for uh, on the right side, what the freaking don't be a wise ass, go sit in the back of the class. <laughs> Right, where is the eyes going to be? There. Let's make a circle. There. I could easily do this, take my white, if I think, well, I, this is as far as I can get, I'll take my white, just put a little white dot from there, I actually misplace it, and the fun thing is, you can just take black, put it back. I would um, recommend putting the white dot completely into the black. Uh, white circle, but so that you can see it. So the, on the other side, there's still a little bit black in, in there. Hey Zen, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. You're missing all the fun, but. Like I said, even in this scale, you can go much further. You can definitely do color, especially on this one. All right, All right Grandler, thank you so much for the, uh, for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. We're doing a tutorial on painting eyes. I'll do the presentation uh, in a bit again, right? Give you the loot, Grandler. Yeah, go get it. Thanks a bunch, man. I really appreciate it. How was your stream? Yeah, 
nice round dot getting some color now obviously this is going to be much harder to get that really nice um, gem like transition so just make it quick So you had to cut it a bit short sadly. Why? Oh man. Having some pain in your arm by over extrusion shoveling. Oh my god. You shouldn't shovel and paint at the same week. <laughs> Sorry man. So um still hope it was a good good um stream. Get some darkness up there. Ending with the black. So first that dot in the center. And then a bit on top. And those two will probably blend a lot into each other. And in the end, it only looks like it's a bit black on top and there's a white U on, on, underneath. But you know better, right? <laughs> you know better. Okay, and then get the white dot in. But be careful. Waited too long. Got pure red here, but I'll, I diluted it as a thin, thin glaze. And there's one eye for you guys. How's that? Woo! One eye jack. Okay. You guys want me to do the presentation again, so this is a recap. Uh, let's let's get those nicely painted eyes on the screen for a sec. There we go. Paint the eyes. Looks good. I know it looks good. That's not cocky. <laughs> not cocky at all. All right. Let's do the presentation again, even for the latecomers, so you can see what I was talking about. Um, pa -pa -pa, one second there. Do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? There we go. So check your notes, right? So here we go. First of all, this is the eye. A simple representation of it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is paint it black. Then I'm going to paint it off white and leave a dark line around it so that the eye is still um, separated from the rest of the face and i'm taking a, 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 a murky off-white uh, so not to over brighten the eye and to make that white dot even brighter then i'm going to paint in the black uh, uh, iris 
um, let's just to do the same thing because I'm gonna make it white again this is pure white uh, and leave a dark lining around it make it as thin as possible then I'm gonna color it in as a gem take any color that's really bright don't try to do um, really flat colors or matte colors right they'll just not pop up as um, as they as you wanted to then I'm gonna paint in the pupil there's a nice round dot and like I said I need that shade on top really big so it touches the pupil so those two blend into each other a bit and I'm gonna add a white dot that's uh, covering or overlapping uh, the pupil the dark shade and if possible uh, just breaking that outer line a little bit and uh, there you have it this is the easy one All right any questions let's get back here any questions from you guys as you can see I was deliberately not talking about the painting of makeup around the eyes that's something completely different uh, and probably you should be talking about a woman to the, uh, to a woman about that but uh, thank you Dave thank you so much for that uh, thank you